I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good morning, good morning, Nathan Keegan. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful morning? I feel fantastic, Angel. How are you? I'm excellent, my friend. Excellent as can be. It's a great pleasure to connect with you. What part of the world are you in right now? I am in Boston, Massachusetts, where we are covered in snow. Ouchie. Yeah. Yeah. Not none of that Trinidad and Tobago weather up here. Yeah. Well, we do have in our email saved in the draft inbox um, a copy of warm Caribbean sunshine. So if you need me to send that your way, do let me know. No, I would just be rubbing salt in the wound, man. That's just cool. (laughs) Oh, man, I gotta tell you, you got a silky smooth voice there. My voice is gonna sound like two goats fighting over a soup can compared to you. No wonder why you have a podcast. <laughs> two goats fighting over a soup can. <laughs> uh, do you have Caribbean roots in you? No, I don't, man. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, kind of just boring, a white, old, pale, and stale from the northeast <laughs> of the U.S. I don't have Caribbean roots. I love the Caribbean, though. My wife and I have uh, vacationed there many times. That's wonderful. Well, do tell us, Nathan, other than your humor, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Sure, sure. So I am the creator, producer, and host of the Wanderless podcast, which is a uh, career changer's guide to finding your best career path. And it's uh, designed to help people that are going through a bit of a crisis where they're not happy with their, their work and the direction of their life. And I try to get them back on the right track because I did the same thing uh, mm. about five years ago. That's wonderful. You see, the thought picture of the two goats are still in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not going to shake that. Just stick with it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So who did you learn this skill uh, from, uh, Nathan, of, um, sure. of um, um, kindness, if you would? Yeah. So I had a a very generous uh, personal mentor who helped me navigate my uh, really, really difficult career transition about six years ago. And when I made that career leap, um, his generosity stuck with me and I've never been able to shake that feeling. So that's definitely where I I give all the credit to that that one man that really had that impact on my life. Hmm. Definitely being kind. it's It's fascinating. It's something that you have to consistently work after, right? It's not something that you could just say, okay, I'm kind and that's it, right? It's it's a continuous yes, it process. Uh, why will you continue to repeat the skill of ensuring that you are generous, that you are kind? Uh, you know, you're right. It's work. But I, I think with the the sense of responsibility that I have because of that kindness and generosity, I feel like I have to pay it forward. I feel compelled to try and help others in the way that I was helped because no way I get here today without that man and what he did for me. And the other thing is I just really love, I really love seeing people get what they want, what they've worked so hard to achieve. So that's one of those things that as long as I have, uh, you know, breath in my lungs, I want to make sure that I'm helping people achieve their goals because I feel so fortunate to get to where I am. Hmm, that's amazing. You know, three minutes into the conversation and immediately I'm like, okay, how do I connect with Nathan? Where's the best place for me to connect with you? It's intriguing, right? Yeah, I hope. I mean, I have a website that's up and running. It's uh, wander-less.com. If anyone wanted to connect with me and um, kind of tell their story, I love, I'm fascinated by other people's stories and the podcast launches uh very soon hopefully by the time you you're airing this it will be out but on monday december 18th my podcast will be live on itunes love it well done well done all right my friend well do tell us one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years please sure uh one of the things that i have done it, it kind of goes hand in hand with why I'm, I'm doing the podcast is i've gone out of my way to really help people and coach them um I, I have a full-time career i work 60 hours a week so the podcasting is more of a side hustle but within that career i've made it a, a point to coach young professionals who are in my shoes maybe a decade ago um to make sure that they're kind of keeping their eye on the prize and moving in the right direction with their career and, and pushing them to be goal oriented is something i've done uh, with everybody that i've worked with in the last three years how does that make you feel? It's an amazing kind of sense of fulfillment. You know, I, I, I think I get more out of it than they do. Um, I get a great sense of connection with those people. And uh, I can't express the, the level of kind of happiness and satisfaction I get when I see them move on to something, ne- the next step for them, something great. Even if it means they're leaving employment, you know, with me and moving on to the next thing for them. That's that's what um really makes me feel tremendous. Hmm. Now, when you say leaving employment with you, what are you speaking about? 
Uh, I work in the healthcare industry in the oh. Northeast, so I'm uh, I'm an administrative manager for a major academic hospital. Um, so a lot of young professionals come and go, but as long as you know, I think that they're getting to what they want. I'm fine with that. Hmm. That's fascinating. You know, I spoke to one guy this morning. He uh, just left uh, a huge organization in Tennessee to open up his own software development company uh, just Friday, right? And it was really fascinating to hear him and his excitement um, as to, you know, I'm, 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 I'm starting my own thing. And it's, it's, it's really great, right, to see that. Yeah, right? uh, it's uh, inspiring. It is. Yeah, wonderless, right? Yes. I love it, love it. So the name of the podcast, who came up with it? I did. Uh, you know, it's sort of based on the, the notion of wanderlust, you know, that kind of desire to travel. But in your career, that can get old if you're just job hopping. And, uh, you know, hopefully people eventually find that kind of career path that will keep them engaged in what they want to do. So the idea of wanderlust is you finally kind of arrive at the path you want, but it's going to take a lot of self-reflection and work and planning to get there. And um, I've been through that. So I'm ho hoping I can help people with that transition. Hmm, that's wonderful. Oh, look at Nathan. Amazing guy, isn't he? Wow. <laughs> That's good. All right, Nathan. Well, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Nathan, what is your earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood? That's a great question. Um, I would say, in my mind, it's, it's sitting in my grandfather's leather recliner, which I can remember the senses. It was always cool to the touch. Uh, it always kind of smelled like his cologne no matter what. And I remember sitting there when my parents brought home my baby brother. Um, and that's 34 years ago. So I'm wow. I'm really at a loss for how I could remember that. But I do I vividly remember that. Hmm. So how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Oh, jeez. I don't know. I, mean, I was three years old. So I, I, I guess it's. It's probably clear because I like to think it's probably clear because I have some perspective on what really matters in life. You know, that was a big seminal moment, even if I didn't know it then. Um, but it's it's kind of hard to say for sure. Right. I mean, it, it does stick with me. And I, I hopefully I'll I'll say it's because I really put a deep um, premium on family. And I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind. And um, again, it, for me, it's just fascinating to see the change yes. of positions, right? Uh, where your grandfather is the one in the chair. Definitely, mm -hmm. you are the one sitting in the chair thereafter and your brother coming right after then again. And that for me is pretty fascinating that you are the individual now that's setting people up to understand that they too can enter into the chair or if they need to um, go to another chair. Yeah. All right, well, there we go. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? <laughs> we're talking 1992. It was, uh, it was, it was Criss Cross, Jump. Make it jump. And I, I got I to gotta tell you, man, I even bought the starter shirts, and I tried wearing them backwards briefly for a period of time. And as embarrassing as that is to say out loud, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I did geez. it, too. I did it, too. Yeah, <laughs> song exactly i mean and then there was chris and then there was cross you know so they definitely captured uh the boat uh extremes right uh, so yeah, yeah it, it, it was yeah. cool it was what it was well my friend we've arrived at our destination but before we get off of this time machine there's a small declaration form so it's yes or no possibly a bit more we're going to move pretty quickly here are you ready i'm ready nathan have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to Yes, I hope it's one of the people that ends up listening to my podcast and feels inspired like I did. Love it. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? I have three that I know of. Do you believe in God? Uh, not the guy in the sky, but there's definitely an energy out there. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes, and I love those guys like family. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. no How about three hours a week? During football season, yeah. And what about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? <sighs> it's probably more, unfortunately. All right, Nathan, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Nathan Keegan, what would you say that is? I would say uh, in life, you know, the choice is really yours. Life isn't really about <clears throat> what happens to you, but more about how you react to things. And the attitude that you choose is what's ultimately going to guide you to be happy or not. Hmm. Love it. Nathan, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? 
Sure. Um, you know, I, I think the only thing to think about is just take time to kind of consider where you are in your life and really establish whether you feel in control or not. Be mindful about you know what got you to this point and how you feel on a daily basis. And if you feel like something's missing or something's wrong, you got to trust that feeling and trust your gut. It might be time to make a change. So, um, you know, that's when you can make a decision to pursue your passion and live a life that's kind of more filled with gratitude and service to others. And the key thing is it's never too late for that. Hmm. So if your audience can take one thing away, it's it's just don't ever think you're, you're stuck in a rut. You can get out of it. Love it. It's never too late. Nathan Keegan, great pleasure, my friend. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.